Hello, E39 Source. Today, I'm going to show you my 1999 BMW 540i. The car is in pretty great shape overall, other than some minor things I'll show you later on. Um, it's a 1999. It has 106,000 miles at it right now. I purchased it back in January at 103. So I put 3,000 miles on the car. Not bad for six months, I guess. Um, the previous owner kept the car in great shape. It's been garage kept its whole life, and it was used as a weekend car. It is a pre-facelift model, so I did swap out a couple things, such as these taillights. Um, these aren't the complete facelifted taillights, the LED ones, but I had the amber ones before, and I got these off an early 2000 M5. Only difference is that this is clear, and I mean, it looks great. If I could find a great deal on some... LEDs, I'll probably hop on it, but I'm okay with these for now. The car came with Style 33 rims, and I hated them to be honest with you, so I swapped them out for these. I just got these put in like two weeks ago. Brand new tires, Continental uh, Extreme Contacts. The rims look great. I love the Style 32s. In my opinion, it's one of the greatest rims on this car. I got some new headlights, the Halos, which look great. They're so much better than the old headlights. My old headlights were actually filled with water, so I had to do that swap. Uh, I do plan on getting the facelifted kidney grills, which come up to about here instead of just sitting inside there. Um, I did get a muffler delete on this car. I know I'll get a lot of hate for that in the comments, but in my opinion, it sounds great. I'll post the sound clip of it later on. You guys like the way that sounded um again the muffler delete is just a temporary thing i do plan on getting a full exhaust system done in the future um what else so another thing i did to this car i got the windows tinted i got 35 percent done in the rear and 50 percent done in the front i wanted to keep the car looking as factory as possible and i wanted to avoid as much tickets as possible so that's why i didn't black the whole car out completely car is completely rust free um, including no rust by the gas cap at all so I guess I could say I'm pretty lucky especially since that this car has been in the Northeast its whole life and we are infamous for rust the hood um, there's plenty of chips everywhere it bothers me a lot but Hopefully I'll be getting it repainted soon. Uh, I do plan on getting m -Tech bumpers front and rear. So along with those, I should be getting this repainted. Chips are just horrendous. Let's check out the interior. So the interior is pretty clean other than just minor creasing on the seats, which is expected from a car that's 17 years old. Other than that, it's pretty clean. There's no rips or tears anywhere. Let's check out the back. Back seats are pretty clean. Oh, would you look at that? There's a 7 Series an exhaust setup. So, interior is not bad, I would say. It's better than average. That is a loud 7 Series. Um, let's start it up. As you can see, all my pixels are there. Thank God. I know that's a really common problem on these, but they all seem to be okay. Um, although I do have broken cup holders, which is really annoying to drive with, especially when I have coffee or anything. I have to hold it in my hand. I mean, thank God my car is an auto, so I don't really have to worry about it that much. I do have a couple cracks on the trim uh, that came with that came like that when I bought the car, and I do hopefully plan on getting the trim wrapped uh, into stainless steel. A uh, local shop by me is charging around 300 to do it for the whole car, which is not bad in my opinion. 
Uh, I'm not really a fan of the tacky looking wood finish. I do want an aftermarket head unit on the car, however it just doesn't look as great as the original one. But the original head unit sucks when it comes to quality and output because, I mean, as you can hear, it just doesn't sound too great. And a couple of the aftermarket head units I checked out, they just sounded so much better. But again, they don't look that great, so I'll see. I do plan on changing the steering wheel to the facelifted M-Tech or m -Pack steering wheel. Uh, in my opinion, the steering wheel just looks a little too dated for the car and it makes the interior look five years older than what it really is. Uh, when I bought the car, the glove box didn't seem to work. It was just stuck and didn't open, but I took it to a local shop and they got it opening right away, so I'm glad that's fixed. Like I said, the rear is pretty clean overall, just normal, normal wear, doesn't seem to be any tear. Uh, however, the cup holders in the rear are broken, as you can see, just like the front, so I will be swapping those out together. Going back to the exterior of the car, uh, let's check this out. I do plan on getting a trunk lip spoiler, just like the 540 M Sports and the M5s had. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it for my car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys liked my 1999 540i. Please subscribe to E39 Source and thanks for watching. Take care.